I was recently contacted by the Kraken Book Company. They're a new small business that makes custom book jackets, and they sent me some new covers for the Stormlight Archive, one of my favorite series of all time, and today we're going to be unboxing them and reviewing them. Now, these covers are officially licensed by Dragonsteel. And I dropped them right off the bat. I'm a pro at unboxings, apparently. Oh, and it looks like they sent some bookmarks along as well. These are actually so cool. As you can see on one side, it's got the artwork that matches up with the covers that we're going to take a look at in a second. Uh, and it actually matches up with the spines. And then on the other side, we have some of the very memorable quotes from each book. Life before death, strength before weakness, journey before destination. Honor is dead, but I'll see what I can do. Sometimes a hypocrite is nothing more than a man in the process of changing. Honor is not dead so long as he lives in the hearts of men. I really appreciate the detail of making the colors on the bookmarks match up with the color of the hardcovers without the dust jackets on. That's a small detail, but I love it. Okay, now for the hardcovers themselves. Oh, it looks like they have a note for me. Dear Jay, thank you so much for your support and for sharing our covers with your audience. As a new small business, this means so much to us. We hope you enjoy your new dust jackets. All the best, the Kraken Books. Thank you so much for sending me these dust jackets. I can't wait to take a look at them. Now the dust jackets are actually designed to replicate the story, so it starts at the Shattered Plains, uh, then progresses towards Urethiru. Each of the jackets contain the full image, so that there's no there's no line breaks between each one. Now as you can see, the artwork is actually the same on each cover, it's just shifted over so that the spines align. Right off the bat, I'm impressed with the quality, I like how the text is gilded and embossed, it's actually raised, you can see. There's also folding indents to help you align them better when putting them on. Overall, the art is just beautiful. Now I'm going to put the dust jackets on, but we do have a problem. I don't have a hardcover copy of The Way of Kings. I just have a floppy paperback, so it's not going to fit properly on here. After buying the leather-bound editions for The Way of Kings, I can't really justify to my wallet buying a hardcover just to try on these jackets. These are the most expensive books I believe I own. Hopefully one day, I'll find a hardcover for The Way of Kings. But you know what? We can just pretend that this is a hardcover. I know this is not going to fit perfectly. Yeah, obviously it's not going to fit on the paperback, but I can pretend. Also something to note, they fit perfectly on all the new printings of the US covers for the Stormlight Archive, but if you have one of the first editions or some of the early printings, it's not going to fit perfectly. For instance, my copy of Words of Radiance, I believe is a first edition. You can tell there's a difference between the vertical and the horizontal text. They should fit perfectly on every US hardcover of Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, but if you have an early copy of Words of Radiance or The Way of Kings, then it might be slightly off because the first editions are actually a lot thicker than the new ones, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, time for Words of Radiance. This is actually my first time ever having a custom dust jacket, and these fold really easily. I assume that's not always the case. My edition for Words of Radiance is a little bit too big, so you're not gonna have this issue if, it's, if you have the proper edition. However, Oathbringer should fit perfectly. Yeah, this one fits like a glove. Now, a lot of people have talked about how these are very noisy. Apparently, if you just leave the old dust cover on uh, with, the, with the new one on top, it doesn't make as much noise. So I think I'm actually gonna try that. I can confirm, leaving the old dust jacket on makes them not so noisy, so that's nice. Next up is Rhythm of War. Oh right, why did I take off the dust jacket? We don't want them to be noisy. Again, this one does fit perfectly, so you just want to make sure that you have the right additions, especially so you can get that spine to align. Now I do really like how the spines are unornamented because you get to see the spine art on display, it's not covered up by the titles or Brandon Sanderson's name, which is notoriously big on, on all his books. And we also get unique faces on each spine. There's Kaladin, Shallan, Dalinar, and what looks like Navani. Overall, I think these covers are perfect perfect if you have newer editions of the Stormlight Archive, and if you want something that's a little more subtle, that doesn't have, you know, Brandon Sanderson's name really big and a huge title, and especially on the spine. It has that nice spine art that you can display on your shelves, and the artwork in general is just really beautiful. You know, they don't actually look too bad on my shelf. You can't really tell that the first two are not aligned properly. Now, I am a big fan of the Michael Whalen uh, US covers. I do know some people don't like them, so I think this is a good option if you don't. Personally, as much as I love the Michael Whalen art, I think I'm gonna leave these on because they look really nice. If you want something a little more unique, then I think, 
I think this is the way to go. You just need to make sure that they fit your additions for the books, obviously. The art is the same on each book cover, and that could be a downside for some people. I think the spine art kind of makes up for that. It looks really good on a shelf. A big thank you to the Kraken Book Company for sending me these book covers and for sending me the bookmarks as well. If you want to get these dust jackets for yourself, I will leave a link in the description to krakenbook.com. You can also buy the bookmarks there as well. Now, one thing I find really cool on their website is they have a poll where you can vote for which series you want to see get a new dust jacket. They have Mistborn, The Wheel of Time, A Song of Ice and Fire, Red Rising, The First Law Trilogy. There's a bunch of options and you should go vote because I can't wait to see what they do next. Now they ship worldwide and they have an international rate of $7. There's been an update, so the next dust jackets are going to be The Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee. I cannot wait to see what they look like. Let me know in the comments if this is something you're excited to see. Let me know what you think of these covers in the comments and what series you want to see them make covers for next. And thank you for watching.